Hey everyone, Pupsker here, so today we're going to be going over endo farming. From some of the best methods, most popular methods, to just some of the laziest, simpler methods if you're more like me. Endo is the one thing that everybody will need a ton of in Warframe. If you're early on, it's recommended you only really level up your mods to maybe rank 5 to 7 to just save on a lot of endo, and you don't max things out until you unlock the better endo farms. But that's just kind of how that goes. We'll go over, first off, just the lazy methods that uh, everyone should do regularly, and then I'll go into some of the more meta methods, and then I'll go into some of the just regular old daily methods, things like that. So without further ado, let us begin. And if you do like the video, I would appreciate it if you were to subscribe, like the video, maybe follow my social medias or something. If you're early on in the game, you definitely won't have a lot of endo. So purely just by playing the game, you'll acquire a lot of mods most likely. Simply dissolve almost all of your mods that have a large number of duplicates like this into endo. As you can see, if I were to go through my entire inventory and transfer everything to endo, up until maybe like a 20 amount, I would probably get damn near 30, 40,000. So this is the passive way that everyone should collect endo. I wouldn't recommend ever selling your mods for credits purely for endo. Ayatin treasures are also a big endo farm, okay? You'll be getting all of the uh, auto installs, you'll be getting all of these Ayatin embers, cyans, you'll get those naturally just by playing the game, running through missions, they drop through all of the uh, crates and uh, lockers, so you will eventually just get a ton of these, and as you can see, if you slot the Ayatin sculpture, it is worth this amount of endo at Maru, that's who uh, you give it to for endo. So just thought I'd bring that up. There are a ton of different ways to get Ayatin sculptures in the game. For example, I think this one here is the one that you can acquire from the Deimos faction's Necroloid or Necrolisk. One of those. You get it from just the uh, Necromech faction and you can pretty much pick up one of these every day or two depending on how much your daily limit is and what your current amount is. So if you want to see here, I essentially have so many sculptures right now just by playing the game and running one of the better farms that I just have a ton of endo through sculptures. It's important to note that people also like to buy sculptures, either some buy them without the stars slotted in and some buy them with them slotted in. So just to be safe, don't slot them if you plan on selling them and ask when you're selling them if they would prefer if you slot them to sell it for a higher platinum price. You should pretty much never sell these ones just for endo. Either sell these to people for platinum if you have a ton of them or slot them in here but I would never sell these individually for endo. So those are some of the easier methods right there, right? Just the basics on how to get endo. So let's actually go over some of the better farming methods. One of the most popular simple farming methods is this right here, arbitrations. You'll have to get really far into the game, but eventually you will unlock arbitrations. You may have to, I believe, complete all nodes or complete far enough in the storyline. I can't quite remember exactly. But the way arbitration works is this. It is a very specific mission type. It'll randomly buff a Warframe. As you can see, Titania has 300% strength, so if you have a good Titania build, throw her on, and it'll buff a weapon. As you can see, Amphis damage plus 300%. So that is buffed as well. If you have a good Amphis build, Riven, etc., go for it. You collect Endo here simply just by running the mission. The reason why is Endo is dropped as a mission reward very frequently. Large amounts of Endo, as well as Ayatin sculptures. Not with anything slotted in them, but if you just play the game, again, you'll get enough of the stars to slot them in. So running this, you can easily get 10,000 to 15,000 endo an hour. Of course, it is always up to RNG, pure luck, because if you get unlucky and you get none of the endo drops, well, that just sucks. 
but it also drops a Vitus Essence, which can be used in the Arbitrations of Honor shop in any one of the relays, or some of the major relays at least. So you can buy things from that shop, and it might also contain Ayatan sculptures as well for when you're completely out of buying the unique items in the shop. I already brought up the Deimos uh, Ayatan Sculpture Necrolisk Necroloid farm, so for that one just simply run Isolation Vaults, hand in standing for the Necrolisk Necroloid standing, and then buy the sculptures when you can. Currently, the most effective and best way to get Endo in the game is by running Steel Path Void Anyo Arena on Sedna. So I believe the reason this is so good, I don't personally run this myself because I'm not a big Steel Path player, so I haven't gotten here yet, but I believe the reason this is such a good farm is the enemies on this node just straight up drop Endo when killed. So the meta is you want to have a very good team with like a Desecrate Necros, a Speed Nova, maybe a Korra with Pilfering Strangle Dome, I think is the uh, buff, maybe a Hydroid, you know, have a good drop rate speed farm team, and you can get, I think people could get up to 20,000 endo an hour if doing it very well here, but more likely about 16,000. You never truly know though with, you know, how luck works and uh, how effectiveness in Warframe and spawns work, but 15 to 20 is possible, so it's a bit more of an effective and reliable method than arbitrations because arbitrations have a much larger drop table that won't give you endo, whereas Void Anyo, especially on Steel Path, because increased drop rate, right? Resource drop rate mod John, yeah. It will give you even more. Everyone loves running it on Void Anyo, Rathum Arena, Steel Path. So this is, without a doubt, currently the best endo farming method. There is still more because this game loves everyone with endo farming. We have weekly missions via Maru's Bazaar. You can get once a week a free, like, very fast mission to get an Ayatin sculpture. As you can see, weekly Ayatin treasure hunt. Simply make sure you bring a fast Warframe because it's a timed treasure hunt. Once you get to a certain point, a timer will go off and then you only have so much time to actually reach the Endo Ayatin sculpture. So do that. It's pretty simple. You'll eventually unlock all of that if you just play through the game. A later game method as well, and this is a daily, is the daily sorties. The reason being is if you can see here, the best legendary tier reward is a legendary core. Legendary cores do this. They instantly max out a mod free of cost, right? So you don't have any endo. It's essentially 40, 80, whatever, how thousand endo, I think 40,000 is for primes is to max it out. But yeah, it's essentially just max a mod out, ton of endo. So that is a low drop chance, but you can definitely get it. And then as you can see, the common drops is the Ayatin Anasa sculpture. The uncommon has 4,000 endo in it. And the rare, it's just good in general, right? So daily sorties, it's recommended you do these every day if you have the time. I don't because I, you know, get up to other things. But if you're trying to be effective, I would definitely farm these every single day. You can get just a metric ton of useful end game good things that you just need and uh, help play Warframe, you know? Reactor blueprints, catalyst blueprint, help a lot. Other than that, really, the game has a ton of other methods to just get endo passively. Doing a night wave, you'll definitely get endo because, oh, look at that, sculptures. I don't think they generally have just a flat endo drop. There, okay, it does in the beginning, but it has sculptures, some endo, so night wave can be good if you're gonna do that. I also have actually been liking Railjack lately a lot for endo, as you can see here. Railjack. The reason Railjack is good for Endo is I like to go to Veil vale Proxima, leveling up my intrinsics, just run it around. You'll get a bunch of scrap, and that scrap, or ship wreckage, call it what you will, you can exchange for Endo. I don't think I have a ton right now because I was just playing a lot of Railjack and I just sold most of my Endo, or sorry, scrap for Endo, wreckage for Endo, etc. So 
I'll just quickly show this off just in case. So here in Warframe is where you have your scrap wreckage. This is what you can dissolve for Endo. You get a ton of drops of these each mission and each one, the Mark III's are 225 Endo. Some will have a little bit higher, some will have a little bit lower. It depends what other drops you get. And the nice thing is Warframe is planning on changing the system so you won't have to scrap your wreckage so much and it won't each wreckage be an individual item with a limit of 30. So Railjack, soon enough at update, I believe 30.5, hopefully, it'll be a little easier to manage. So in my opinion, those are all of my main sources and popular ways to get endo. A lot of people at this point are aware of most methods, but there is a ton of things you can do to get endo to just get Iotins and just farm. You can just straight up buy Iotin sculptures and have all of the endo that way, right? Like, you can pay to win in this game naturally. Is it worth it? I would say no, not really, but I mean, that's because I like playing the game. At the end of the day, it's always up to you and do what you want to do. If there are any methods everyone prefers here or you guys like that I didn't really talk about, let me know. Of course, I'm not hitting every single possible endo farm in the game because, I mean, like, everything can get you endo no matter what. Early game, just play through the game, farm up stuff and dissolve. Later game, farm the late game meta endo farms. So, I hope this video helped you liked it, I'd appreciate it if you were to like, favorite, subscribe, as I said before. You can check out my social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch, but I don't stream on Twitch, I stream on YouTube. So, thank you guys for following me. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.